What's going on, Urban Adventures? Welcome to another episode. I am out here with uh, Get Two Tackles. We are finally doing some open water fishing. Today is the trout opener. Decided to come out here to uh, my little spot right here. And we're going to do some brown trout fishing. Fly fishing for brown trout. I'm going to show you what we're using and how, are you, how we're using it. And, uh, and hopefully we get some fish on for you guys. As you can see, uh, saw from Get Two Tackles is already over there. Trying to catch some of these beautiful brown trouts up that are in here. Oh, it looks like he got one on. All right, no, he got one on. Let's go check it out. Another beautiful brown trout. Beautiful brown trout. Beautiful. Very nice. The fish are hungry in here. Well, yeah, stay tuned and uh, let's go catch some more fish, guys. That's our first fish for the day, and uh, we're fishing this little this little corner bend right here. And there's like a little three to four foot deep hole right here, and uh, the fish are pretty much stacked in here. So, all right, guys, let's get to the video. There you go, I finally got one. <laughs> wow guys, look at this one guys. Finally got our first fish. Little beautiful brownie. Wow, beautiful. Let's let him go. There's like a big school stacked right there, right in front of me. Probably about 50 to 60 all brown trout, it looks like. But they are very, very finicky though. These fish have been very pressured, even during the catch and release season. You tell that there's my people coming here. There he goes. Oh, lost it. One key thing is they seem to be hogging up the bottom, so you want to get your fly deep enough. Right here is probably about a four, maybe a four or five foot hole. Basically, you just want to cast above and let it drift down and I'm using a strike indicator. You actually want your fly to almost be touching the bottom. And that's what seems to be making the fish strike. Oh, you got him? Sweet. Beautiful. Thank you, Eddie. Wow. These guys are beautiful. Let's get it back. That one was hungry. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, they were up here more. That's why. Yep. Wow. Good job. Yeah, I guess this is how cold it is today. Today's trout opener, and you know it's cold when your guides are freezing. Oh, there he goes. Nice. Get 
good jig line. Nice, beautiful. Beautiful line. There he goes. All right, guys, let me show you what I'm using. I just picked up this uh, Echo Lift three weight, seven feet six rod right here, and I paired it up with my Reddington Zero two three weight reel right here with a reel line weight forward. Real, real basic setup. This is on my second season with the Zero, and then the, then I just picked up this from Thorn Brothers. The echo lift and so far I'm loving it. It's a real nice soft soft action. And it's a real good setup. And I got about probably about a 10 foot uh, leader on down to a three and a half pound tippet. I'm just using uh real small flies such as this uh pink squirrel tail. We're also using the get to tackle hair jigs. And the fish are loving it, so yeah, they're hitting the more natural colors. Uh, especially in this area, in the driftless area right here, you want to use natural colors. And uh, egg patterns uh, also work as well. So, but yeah, this is just a very, very basic, simple setup. Under $200. And this is all you really need for these small trim trouts. And, oh, get two tackles, got, got a fish on. Let's go check it out. Another nice brownie. It's missing this top fin. <laughs> there he goes. Nice. Let's see what uh saw what setup saw is using. I'm using uh eight six five weight Cabela's Prestige. Um it's uh Cabela's WR2 five weight wheel floating line and about a 10 feet liter tip it get the tackles jigs five. explain more yeah show more of your jigs and yeah, we'll go through some of the jigs here these are something the same jigs that we've been using for ice fishing and it's a very very versatile jig that we've been using for ice fishing and we can use it here too and these are all hand tied by get two tackles right here yes. well look how look how beautiful they are yeah, i'm going to link the description down below where you can find the the get two tackle jigs and as you can see it's very versatile we're using it for trout fishing even you've seen me us using it uh, a lot of times during ice fishing too so but no, let's go catch some more fish. Oh, oh, the big one. Nice, there it goes. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Looks like it's striked and uh, oh. right above the eye. Fall hooked one, but that's right though. He probably swiped at it. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Beautiful guy too. Wow, look at the coloration on this. Look at the coloration on this, guys. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, let me let you hold it and I'll take a picture. I kept you all morning. <laughs>
All right, beautiful release. <laughs> nice, that was a good one. And that's a lot of these uh, trouts like to do too. They like to swipe at it and sometimes they miss and I'll, I'll hook them or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah, not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have the camera ready yet. Nice brown. Wow, well, made it to a new spot, and I was like, "What the first or second cast?" And first got one. Cast. First <laughs> cast, nice. Yeah, they're really loving that jig. They came right from uh, at that tail end. Yeah. Nice. You guys, when you guys are fishing rivers, this is these are areas that you guys want to look for. As you can see a little waterfall that kind of comes in. It gets a little deeper right there. Then you got a lot of these uh, shallow areas on both sides. And the fish I like to be stacked right underneath the waterfalls. They're waiting for nymphs, stonefly nymphs, uh, bugs, whatever bait fish to come in, come through from the waterfall. So they'd be just under there waiting. And as you can see right here. There's a big boulder right in, right behind this waterfall, so a lot of the fish are hiding right behind there, between. And one of your one of the best techniques is try to get your fly above the waterfall, as it's so your fly kind of drifts down into in between the boulders and the cracks of the rocks and everything. So you actually want a heavier fly. So all your bead nymphs flies, uh, your your hair jigs and everything will be the best bait for this this type of area. And because you have a lot of current so it's going to push your fly down faster that's why you want to have your fly if you're using something that's very light your fly is just going to whiz right through oh and uh saw just missed one. Oh, there it goes nice there it goes yeah these fish right now they're holding tight to the bottom too another beautiful brownie Wow, look at that. There he goes. <laughs> nice. All right, beautiful fish. There he goes. <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn on the camera, but look at this beautiful brown. Got on a beaded head, bead headed prince nymph. Oh, there he goes. That one hit pretty hard. Yep. There he goes. <laughs> oh, came right off. As soon as it hit the water, <laughs> as soon as it hit the water, yeah. Beautiful brownie. Let's let this one, let this one go. <laughs> All right, guys. If you guys made it this far, I really appreciate you watching my videos. It means a lot to me that you guys are watching my videos and uh, going on these adventures with me. And I, I really appreciate that. So, but yeah, uh, stay tuned because uh, white bass season is coming up. Wildlife is uh, is going full force right now. And uh, right after that, it's going to be crappies and white bass. But but I'm going to be doing a giveaway pretty soon. So it's going to be on my Wild Urban Adventures Facebook page. So make sure you guys are following me on Facebook. And uh, this is what I'm going to be giving away. So I'm going to be giving away some of my, either my 
white bass flies. I'll be giving away a dozen of those, or you can choose some clouds or minnows. My clouds or flies, so so it's gonna be either a dozen of the white bass flies or a dozen of the uh, other clouds or minnows. So yeah, these are very effective for white bass, and a white bass it's gonna be knocking on the door pretty soon here. So usually right around beginning of May to the end of May, it's gonna be really hot for white bass. But yeah, I tie a lot of these flies and I love them and these are very effective flies and yeah, so make sure you guys are following me on Facebook. I'm going to be announcing that on there and uh, and uh, it's going to be on the Mong Fishing Facebook group as well. So so that's how you're going to be able to enter it. But just wait for that um, post to come up and it's going to be within the next uh, week or so and I'm going to be posting that. So make sure you guys uh, pay attention to my Facebook page. But anyways, I'm very grateful that you guys are watch my videos and you guys made it this far and uh, as always follow your dreams follow your passions and make it happen guys i'll see you guys on the next video catch you guys later